If you enjoy writing, reading, or discussing NBA, head over to our website, thefoulshot.net, where normal fans have a voice. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, this one is going to be called the No Off-Season Rebuilding Challenge. As you can see right here, all of these players are going into retirement. So, I took the Orlando Magic team, released all the current day players, then signed these guys out of free agency, then up their age up to the 60s and their years pro to 30s because I wanted them to retire. So, all 13 guys that were on my team is now gone. They're all gone. And I'm calling this the No off-season rebuild because what we're going to do right here right now is go to the my league automation and make all the well let's see game participation no not that but the draft combine scouting or staff management all this stuff i'm going to make it so that it's auto so somebody else is going to be controlling who fills this team so i'll show you the roster in a second there's no players so the computer or 2k ai whatever you want to call it they're going to be drafting they're going to be signing free agents and i'm pretty much going to go into season number two blind because i don't know what i'm going to get so it's just an idea that i came up with you know really on the fly thought it would be fun for a video so i'm doing it right here right now so the off season is going through we finished with the record of three and 79 so i'm hoping we got the number one pick which could potentially be like ben simmons or brandon ingram depending on who they drafted i'm not sure who they're gonna draft but we're gonna see our roster very soon it's something i wanted to do for a minute now actually i mean i came up with it i think early this morning i've been really wanting to record this video and i finally got the time here at 3 53 a.m so let's take a look at the team and it is trash so we had the number one two pick in the, in the draft where we got Chris Dunn. So our best player right now is Festus Azili, Terrence Ross. You see the rest of the roster. Courtney Lee is back in Orlando Magic uniform. Lance Thomas, Mo Williams, Timothy Mozgov. I thought, you know, having no players, we we're actually going to have enough cap to try to go grab somebody like really big. Big name free agent, you know, maybe LeBron, maybe some guy like that. But I guess not. And we also have Sabonis on his team. Who I'm pretty sure the Magic drafted a couple nights ago, then traded. When they traded Victor Oladipo, I'm pretty sure that was Sabonis. But anyway, this is the rotation, man. This is the rotation we're rolling with for now. Of course, now that it is in the regular season, I can make some trades and do some things like that. So I definitely need to make a couple trades. Um, I want to upgrade. So we need a star. We need somebody over 80 overall. Or maybe, maybe we don't. Maybe we send this entire. This is officially the first season. Um, so maybe we just sim this. I think, I, yeah, I'm just going to sim it and I'll see you guys in the end of the first season. And then we're going to another off season and maybe they'll make some moves. And then in season number two, we'll finally get to me being the GM. All right. So at the end of the official first season, Russell Westbrook wins MVP. Rookie of the year goes to Ben Simmons in the Boston Celtics uni uniform. I bet a lot of Celtics fans wish that actually happened. Six man goes to Mason Plumlee. Rudy Gobert wins Defensive Player of the Year. Spencer Dinwiddie wins Most Improved. Okay, my boys just picked him up, man. Maybe he can do some good things with us now that we don't have D Rose here. And Billy Donovan wins Coach of the Year. So you could probably tell from the roster we did put together. Well, not that we put together, but that was put together. We didn't do too good, man. 15 and 67. Actually, let me show you guys. The player stats, they actually made some trades throughout the season. These trades weren't done by me, but we picked up Wilson Chandler, which is cool. I don't think Isaiah Cannon was a part of this team at the beginning. I don't really remember. Uh, Timothy Mozgov is there. And we also picked up Sean Kilpatrick, which I really like. But uh, that's it. Chris Dunn had a pretty solid rookie season, if you ask me. 11 points per game, 5.5 rebounds and 5.5 uh, assists. But let's see who's going to win the championship year two. Cleveland Cavs versus the Spurs and the Cavs win. Look at that, man. Philly made it to the playoffs and got to the second round and almost beat the Cavs. This is crazy, but uh, it happened. So, okay. So, again, it is the no offseason rebuild. Kobe retires and Tim Duncan retires. The no offseason rebuild. So, again, we're going to go right to the end. I'm pretty sure we still have our first round pick from this season. So, let's hope that the person we draft is like the best prospect available and then in the second season we're officially going to be making trades myself and try to make this roster better to win now because year one is usually a throwaway in my rebuilds to be honest man we try to get a high draft pick or whatever year two is when we finally start to try to get some wins so we'll see how it goes see if they made any more moves this is the new roster chris dunn got a lot better we picked up rudy gay 31 years old so i don't know if that's a great pickup this is still there Terrence ross 
Christopher Slater, fourth overall pick in last draft. Small forward slash shooting guard. Okay, that's nice. Sabonis is still there, got a little bit better. So the team is still pretty bad, but we're going to start making moves. I want to trade our first round pick for this season because when we do the auto-generated rookies, they never turn out to be like great. Rudy Gay sounds good to have on. Oh, we got a bunch of picks, yo. That's great. Okay, now we can start flipping picks. Let's do it, man. So let's see. Rudy Gay and his first round pick from 2018, which is this year. And I'm probably going to be doing a bunch of trade finder for this one just to make things a little bit easier on myself. And just to load up. This always takes forever, man. I don't, under I don't understand why. But this trade would give us a Nance Kenter and JJ Redick. Mike Conley's there. Ooh, this is a nice trade. I like this trade a lot. We'll keep that in the back of our mind. Pick up a nice point guard. But we already have Chris Dunn. I think I believe in Chris Dunn to be our point guard. So maybe we won't do that one. Gordon Hayward and another point guard. No, no. Okay, so I'm not seeing nothing. So I may come back to that. So how about Festus Azili and the Lakers in our first round pick for next year? That's got to bring in something. Because next year, I'm pretty sure they probably project us to be not so great. And then the Lakers, I don't know who they have on their team. But... By the, actually, by this time, whenever I do a rebuild, they're actually pretty good because they are, they do a pretty good job at signing free agents. So maybe their pick is worth nothing, but our pick should be definitely worth something. And then we're throwing out the, I think I have Festus Azili, but if we can upgrade him to a better center, I definitely like that a lot. Still stuck on this screen. Okay. But not that. Only two offers. So it looks like I'm actually going to have to do a lot of manual trades, which is no big deal. It just takes a little bit longer. So I'll be back. All right. So this is a trade I kind of just drew up myself. So it's kind of like the, the no trade finder and the no offseason challenge just because the trade finder is not doing me pretty good today. But we're going to be trading Rudy Gay, a first round pick, and Festus Azili, hopefully for Jonas Valanciunas and Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown and Rudy Gay, pretty much the same overall, but Jalen Brown's younger, which means he's going to progress more. Jonas Valanciunas is an upgrade from Festus Azili, so I'm hoping that this first round pick is enough for it to go over, and it did. Okay. So there's the first trade of the video. So now we have Jalen Brown, Chris Dunn, and <laughs> Sabonis all in the same lineup. Uh, sounds lit, right? It sounds like a good idea. We still got this rookie here. I, I, let me look at his stats, man, his attributes. It looks like he can score the ball a bit, and it's pretty good coming off our bench. We also have Terrence Ross that I'm thinking about flipping just because we have a bunch of small forwards in the rotation, and then we also have a bunch of centers. So one of these centers have to go and a small forward. And then we'll be ready for season number two. Again, don't think we're going to be a playoff team, but we're going to go all out for year number three. This is actually a trade I found on Trade Finder, and I think it's a pretty good one. We're trading Terrence Ross for Tobias Harris, swapping first round picks. Now, I said that we're going to make some trades to get rid of small forwards, but Tobias Harris is a really good talent, and he's actually going to be taking the starting spot, and then Jalen Brown will come off the bench, which is okay with me right now. Maybe I'll have Jalen Brown start as shooting guard because Sean Kilpatrick is probably not the best option. So I may switch that off camera. But I do want to still get rid of one of these centers for a nice guard to be a backup. And then we'll get on to the second season. So this trade, we're again swapping picks. But this time we're picking up one from this season. Timothy Mozgov. Timothy Mozgov. Because people always yell at me when I say it, say it the other way. For Tyler Johnson in the first round or so. We just pick up another shooting guard to be in the rotation. And then I'm going to change... Jalen Brown to shooting guard so I again this season I don't think we're gonna make the playoffs again but we got enough young pieces where people are gonna progress for season number three and even if we don't keep them for the last season we know that they have trade value just because they're so young so I'm gonna try to do it with this young team at first but if it doesn't work out we can always make the necessary trades but this is the rotation for season number two Chris Dunn Jalen Brown Tobias Harris is back in a Magic uniform. Sabonis and Jonas Valanciunas off the bench. We have Tyler Johnson, our rookie, Christopher Slater, Cole Aldridge, and Norris Cole. So I'm going to simulate to the All-Star break. We'll see what the record is. Maybe we're in playoff contention, but most likely not. We'll see. Okay, so at the All-Star break, we're actually in the playoffs. Six seeds, so we could drop out, but we're there at this point. 29 and 23. So I don't know who's doing it for us. Wow, Jalen Brown's averaging 21 and seven great numbers for Jalen Brown. So switch him over to shooting guard, up his overall to 81, and he's scoring the ball, and he's dishing off the rock. So that's great. Tobias Harris back, and the Magic uniform averaging 17. Jonas Valanciunas is 16. Our rookie off the bench is averaging 13.5. Pretty good for a rookie. Chris Dunn averaging nine. Not the best. I wonder what he's shooting. Is he shooting well at least? Because I know we got more options on the team now. I mean, he's shooting all right, I guess. 
but as long as we're winning, I can't really complain about anything. Um, but that's pretty much it, man. I don't think anybody's going to win the All-Star game on the award races. Oh, Christopher Slater may win Rookie of the Year. That would be cool. But I think that's it. Most improved, actually. No, there it is. Jalen Brown and Tyler Johnson both on the top of the list. All-Star participants. Nobody from our team. No surprise there. Nobody in the dunk contest or three-point shootout. So I'm not going to make any trades and hope that we can make it to the playoffs. That's a goal right now, just to make it into the playoffs. And Season 3 is where we go all out. If we don't win this year, can you imagine if we won this year with this young team? Right now, we're on an eight-game streak, nine-game streak, and there's a, there was the first L. Okay, all right. Russell Westbrook wins his third consecutive MVP. This guy wins Rookie of the Year. Reggie Jackson, six man, drum and defense player. Here. Most improved goes to our boy Jalen Brown. Man, great, great numbers from that guy. And Billy Donovan wins Coach of the Year. So we did finish with the second best record in the Eastern Conference. I don't think we have any injuries, nor is Cole is injured. I don't know if that's a big injury. Well, he is our backup point guard, so maybe that is. But nonetheless, he's injured. Uh, take a look at the final stats from season number two. Great numbers from a bunch of players, so I'm happy with what we did with this team. So the first round is against the Charlotte Hornets. Not sure who they, ha who they have on their team at this point. They got Dirk. A 39-year-old Dirk is still an 80 overall, which is pretty damn good for somebody about to turn 40. But they got a pretty solid roster, so we won't be just running over them. Honestly, I'm surprised they were the, the higher seed, but it is what it is, man. Game one, no good. We're just going to keep it going at a slow pace. I thought we were going to get a 3-0 lead, but we're up 3-1. We get out of the first round. The second round is against the defending champion, Cavs. Hopefully... Oh, they brought Bosch over to the Cavs? How is that possible? I guess Kevin Love may be in a Heat jersey. Yep, Kevin Love is in a Heat jersey. That's crazy, LeBron. The best GM in the world bringing over his boy, Chris Bosch. Now they just need Wade, man. Wade was a free agent that one year. Where did he go? I don't know. Well, maybe he's still over there. Yeah, he's still over there. He'll never leave Miami. That's that's what I think. He'll never leave Miami. But anyway, so we're going against LeBron, Kyrie, and Chris Bosch, man. That's a great team there. They got Iggy. Iggy said, if you can't beat them, join them after losing to them game seven. They got the, the guy out of China. Um, Iman Shumper stood there. So this is a team that we just not going to run through. We lose the first game. We come up with a victory. Okay, up 2-0 or 2-3. Wow, 3-1. Come on, we just need one more win, boys. One more win, game seven. Oh, we got to eliminate it. That's fine, though. Our boy uh, Christopher Slater doing his thing out there. Wow. He tried to keep us alive, but we needed guys like Tob Tobias Harris play 10 minutes. Did he get injured or something? Why does Tobias Harris just play 10 minutes? I don't know. Either way, we lose in game seven, but we are going into the third season. Um, again, the no, the no offseason challenge, basically. Oh, Dirk leaves. Okay. Dirk retires. So realistically, let me go back to these, this um, automatic thing. Turn back on automatic trades because I didn't want them trading my players during the season because that's the time I'm the GM. But in the offseason, realistically, they can trade any of our players. And I like our team a lot right now. I'm going to be making some trades, but I don't want them trading my players because they, they make dumb trades, to be honest. They make some really, really dumb trades. So I'm hoping that they don't trade at least any of our core pieces. They can get rid of the smaller guys. I couldn't care less about them. But those young pieces that we have, don't just be giving them away. So we'll see if they made any significant changes to my team here. Let's just hope not. I wish I could go into training camp because these young players need that untapped potential, man. I'm hoping that's what they're sending our guys to. Probably not, though. All right. So here is this, the roster. I don't think they made any big moves, right? We still got... Let me look at the rotation. If I look at the rotation, that's the better way for me to understand it. Where's Val in the... Um, uh, the Montes? Sabonis is gone. Okay. So Sabonis is gone. Did we trade him for this guy? Oh, no, this guy was on our team last year. He just he was a second-round pick, and he's a 75 overall right now. That's a big jump. But somehow Sabonis is gone. I wonder what happened to him. Did we just trade him? Can we go to Player Finder? Can I just type in SAB, and it'll come up? He went to the, the Rockets. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks, because I liked him as our, our power forward. But we lost him. Nonetheless, we got a guy that's... Still pretty good. So it's time for me to make these last and final trades. So 
I do want to trade Jonas Valanciunas and maybe we can get an upgrade at the center position. Same thing when it comes to Tobias Harris or Christopher Slater because I'm pretty sure he has a bunch of trade value. So I'm going to be going through trade finder and doing some potential like uh, manual trades. And just try to build this team up as much as I can because this is our last and final season of this challenge. So we got to win it all. So I'll be back. Okay, so I complain about not having a nice power forward. Well, this trade kind of takes care of that. Porzing God and Nikola Vucevic, welcome to the team. So we kind of downgraded. Uh, we've got Nikola Vucevic on the team now, but we kind of downgraded that position by like two overall points. But overall doesn't mean much. But we did pick up a nice start in power forward and Porzingis. So we got a bunch of 80 overalls, but we got, let me show you, let me show you the amount of picks we have. I'm going to try to trade all these picks just to upgrade our roster, so a lot more trades about to go down. Alright, so here's trade number two of year number three. First round pick, Tobias Harris, and this guy that we just picked up in the last year's draft. For Kimba Walker and Nicholas Batum, so we're upgrading our depth at the point guard position and getting... A small four that's pretty similar to Tobias Harris. One thing I just don't realize a lot, like I always forget how young Tobias Harris is, like right here in 2016, because he's played with so many teams, Milwaukee, Orlando, and now Detroit. I always forget how young he is, but we're going to accept that trade. So Kemba is probably now our new starting point guard, and Chris Dunn going to be coming off the bench. So two big trades there, but we are not done. Actually, I may flip Vucevic if I can get a better center, so we'll see if I can get that done. I kind of want to get our bench a little better. The bench is looking all right. Or Chris Dunn, Slater, Cole Aldridge, I guess, and this guy, Malik Pope. But I do want to increase the depth at least a little bit, so we'll see if I can do that. All right, so this trade will pretty much help our center position and increase our depth. Nikola Vucevic, a first rounder, and <laughs> Josh Smith is on our team for some reason. For Hassan Whiteside and Buddy Heald. Yes, we got Buddy on this team. Like, I think I have a lot of young guys. And I still think, even with these young guys, we can win a championship. It's probably, like, one of the youngest championship teams ever. But I think I may be getting a little ahead of myself. We still got games, 82 games to play, and then the playoffs. So, um, we still have picks, though. And because of that, I'm not done making trades. Two first-rounders and a bunch of second-rounders. Second-rounders don't go for much, but these first-rounders got to go. Increasing our depth even more with this trade. Nicholas Batum, two first round of Norris Cole for Jay Crowder and Evan Fournier. So I think that is the last trade, guys. Kemba Walker, Jalen Brown, Jay Crowder, Porzingis, Hassan Whiteside, Chris Dunn, Evan Fournier, Buddy Heald, uh, Christopher Slater, and I do want that 10th man in the rotation, so we got a backup big there. And this is what we're rolling with going into the next season. And I like what we got here, man. I like what we got. I think this is a championship winning team. Even with Jabari, Jabari, Bra Jabari Brown, Jalen Brown. Even with Jalen Brown, Christopher Porzingis, Chris Dunn, all these young cats on the team, I do think they can win a championship. Chemistry's looking really bad right now, but after a couple games, that'll change. So at the All-Star break, we'll see what the record is. I'm guessing... I'm guessing we have about 32 wins at the All-Star break. That's my guess. 32 wins. We'll see what it is, though. All right, so at the All-Star break, we got 36 wins. I don't even remember what I said a couple minutes ago, but I think it was in third. I think I said 30. Anyway, we got 36 and 16 at this point. First in the Eastern Conference. Things doing really well for the team. Kimball Walker leading all scores for us. We also have Christopher Jingis there. I thought he'd be averaging around a triple uh, double-double, but... Oh, wait, almost, he's almost there. Double double is really coming for her, her son Whiteside, averaging nine and thirteen boards with two blocks to go along with it. His monster, monster numbers. And of course, as you can probably guess, we're not gonna be making any trades, man. If it's not broke, don't fix it. I want to see if we have anybody in the award races. Probably Hassan Whiteside, defensive player of the year candidate. All star game. We got nobody. They disrespecting us, man. They really disrespecting us. But it's all right, man. It's all right. We're just going to continue to simulate, get to the end of the season, and try to win the first ring for Miami. I said, I said Miami. I'm in Orlando. It, it's late at night. Give me a break. Russell Westbrook wins his fourth MVP in the row. Fourth in the row, man. What the heck? This guy wins Rookie of the Year. Six man goes to Cameron Payne. Drummond wins Defense Player of the Year. Most improved goes to Jordan Clarkson. And Billy Donovan wins Coach of the Year. So we did finish with the best record in the East. I don't know if it was the best record in the league. It was not the best record in the league, but best in the East. So we'll see how it goes, man. It's, these are the moments of truth. Going against the Knicks in the first round. Let's see who the Knicks have. So let's go over to their team. 
We made that trade, gave them Jonas Valanciunas. So they got Melo, Valanciunas, Willie Cauley Stein, Eric Gordon, Tony Roten. I think our team is better. They do have some nice centers, nice big man, but I think our team is better. So we it's 1 1 at this point, 2 1 for us going for the win. And we make it to the second round against the Indiana Pacers. Oh, we suffered two injuries, but I think they're small. They're playing through it. Yeah, they're playing through it. So no big deal. Second round was against the Indiana Pacers. So let's go to the Pacers roster. Paul George, Miles Turner, Chris Middleton. I think Chris Middleton fits that team, that kind of 3 and D type guy there. Ms. McBiambo, Alex Lynn. They got a bunch of big men too. So scoring in the paint may be tough for our guys. Ooh, we have Hassan Whiteside of Porzingis. Going to be tough for those guys. We lose game one, lose game two. Okay. All right. We're not about to lose this, are we, guys? Come on. Let's fight. Let's fight hard. We cannot afford to lose this. People leave on my Xbox Live party. Simcasting. Hopefully, this is going to get us. Oh, my God. We're going to lose to this team. We're going to lose to this team. No. We had the better team, but we got swept. Not only, we didn't just lose. We got swept by that team. It's All right, guys. It's the next day. Uh, my recording kind of wonked out on the last, like, two minutes of the video. You didn't miss anything. We lost the, the second round, as you saw. And then the championship happened. I show it on screen right now. I got a little screenshot of it. But that's pretty much it. We did not complete this challenge. Three years, no championship. So this is definitely a challenge I'll go back to because it was pretty fun to do. Um, I recommend that you guys try it. And hopefully you did enjoy the video even though we didn't get a ring. It's King of the Fourth Quarter. Thanks so much for watching.